this is a quick little sequence you can do anytime you feel disconnected, whether it's a physical or an emotional mental disconnect. We're going to connect the limbs to the trunk body, which will help you feel empowered. And we're going to move through some movements that can help you touch on some of those tricky emotions. So I like to do this one and share this one anytime anyone's feeling disconnected and maybe a little bit out of sorts. So we're going to start at the belly button, just a gentle bit of pressure into the belly button. And now we're going to go into navel radiation, a great way to connect the arms and the legs. And I often do this lying down or I'll do this for people, but you're going to do this for yourself standing. So trace down your legs and go to the feet if you can. If you can't go all the way to the feet, it's okay. Just stay at the thighs and then come on back up and you're going to come to the middle, trace up through the belly button, through the breastbone, over the opposite collarbone and arm until you get to the fingers. Give a little pull. Here's that isometric I'm always talking about. Such a great opportunity for your brain and your body to find safety and organization. And then we're going to reach up into the V for victory. Now what you want to do is actually repeat this at least three times. And coming through, you don't have to take too long to pause. You just want to feel the sensations by touching yourself in these lines and tracing through, you're giving that really helpful, so important proprioceptive input to your brain and your body. And then we're here in our V position, thumbs slightly turned forward. Now bring those arms down. We're going to go into our standing snow angel, such a great movement to connect to the lateral part of the body and also to have an opportunity to really get into are movements that help to support various emotions and sometimes those emotions that are more difficult to deal with. Now we're going to go into, and you could continue that move for as long as you need to feel like you're really acknowledging and processing the emotions. Now we're going to go into that cross crawl motion coming up and over. You always want to finish any movement sequence with a cross crawl because it's very organizing and integrating for the brain and the body. And let's pause here for a little isometric. Now you don't have to lift that leg all the way up. You can keep the heel down and do the isometric or put the foot on a box. And then of course on the other side. And you could continue to do more cross crawl. Sometimes you'll feel like you need more cross crawl than you actually realize. And then of course, let's finish in a standing hookup. Cross one leg over, bring the arms in front like you're gonna clap, but miss, interlace, relax the shoulders, deep, deep breath. Place the tongue on the roof of the mouth if you can. And again, you can stay here as long as you need. Could you just leave all of those things on your to-do list aside and just be here in this moment? How would that feel? And then uncross, going to phase two. Great work here. Again, super simple and short sequence, but it can be very powerful if you feel like you need to connect to your body get those limbs connected to your trunk, and also feel connected to uh, your emotions and be able to move through and work through those emotions in a very brief way. So you're starting to process some of those emotions. Give it a try. I cannot wait to hear how it unfolds for you.